Alright, then I believe too. And with that, there's only one thing left to say. Let's rev it up! Alright guys, welcome back. Okay, so if some of you haven't know, haven't um found out yet, there was a uh an Australian player, his name's Ian Carroll. He went to nationals, the Australian nationals. Uh it's not the same as 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 uh as the American nationals cuz like uh um I guess uh Australia's nationals is is called Oceanics, so it's it's a bit confusing. It, it, it's a bit yeah, but still, he st he he it to, to 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 this Australia's nationals and managed to get top 8. That is really really cool. So I I was like right away I saw it on cuz I saw it on um Glasgow's um um notifications. So I was like, "Oh, oh, it's so, so cool." I I really wanted to go to that event. I really did. Like I, I was like looking forward to it like months before. I was like, oh, "I think I might be able to go this year." So but then at last I, I I wasn't able to do it. But damn, that's going crazy. So I I I was looking through his deck list and I was like, "Oh, wow. He he's made some 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 changes like like he's really that's a lot that's he's brave man like playing three playing three of them so okay so let's look at the main deck because um there's a like significant you can notice four cards which is uh shadow beast ash and two draw so that's pretty much that's pretty crazy especially he's playing he's playing um one greffer so i guess i mean I can see how it can work, but like I preferably my like the, the times of being playing the deck, I I, I never really needed Greffer. Greffer was just like it was just never needed. But I'm assuming he he uses it as another way to make either another level five if you have a Gofu in hand and then just summon it and then just make a five that way. That could be like another material to make the Quasar or Cipher. Um. I mean that's my only um, my only logic behind that and a uh, beast I guess is just more draw power I guess it makes Armageddon Knight into like a like a like an upstart if you if you if you already have level leader or something like that uh, so I guess that and then the the one uh, Chi win I mean it makes sense because you're playing thing along um, then everything else is pretty standard besides the hand traps the three hand traps so I'm assuming he juggled these I'm pretty sure he juggled going from three I'm pretty sure he went three draw first. And then he went three ash, and then went two ash, one draw, and eventually just ended up going with one ash, two draw because two draw, um, it goes it synergizes it synergizes more with um, with uh, War Arf though, and one he wasn't playing one day of peace, so he must have been like really on the edge, but I mean if you have if you're able to pull this off, then damn that's pretty there's no life points don't really matter, freaking <laughs> Ian man, <laughs> oh well. So everything is pretty standard minus those six cards. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but those six cards. It's pretty crazy, man. Good job, Ian, man. Freaking dude. First it was Aubrey, now freaking Ian. Oh my god, freaking awesome, awesome guys. And then uh, okay, so the extra deck. It's a bit okay, so you play Theseus, three formula, XL, Dang Long. This is uh, a preference between uh, I mean it's good. It's really like like I've uh, I've mentioned this before. When uh, when links were first announced like, with them, uh, these three cards are gonna be really needed to to use as material materials because they float, they replace themselves. Especially this guy here, he floats and then just gets you another thing. You can use that, so that's really good. And then jet, of course, is similar to this. Like these four are gonna be really critical during links. And one thing I, I noticed too, he wasn't playing charge. I was like, if I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 like, I, I would like to play charge, cause there's a way where you can go into this, um, into coral first, so you can dodge the ogre on the librarian. So you just like make, so you'll end up going like, um, excel into this and level lead this, get formula, level lead go for librarian, draw a card, and then you'll have this. You level lead librarian, then you synchro into charge that way, so you can dodge an ogre. But damn that's freaking crazy and uh, of course uh just drill and then two cipher and quasar that's freaking crazy i guess i guess i i, I mean i've always been uh, um, just thinking about um uh, just versatility having trish having crystal and in case you can't make it to these big guys because you do you gotta like if someone's ballsy enough and no because there's no twin twisters here either like there's no main twin twisters so he's, he was really fearless uh, like, 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 there's some times where people are they they know how to play against the deck, 
and they wait for you to do every single thing and then they strike or warning the last they strike the quasar or they strike the, the the last thing so that that's the thing about it i was like oh sh crap i don't know about that so i was like it's easier to make a crystal wing um than it is to make these guys because you need like, that's three things oh that's really crazy but I mean, it worked out. I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess his theory or his uh, uh, philosophy in with the deck is pretty much uh, be resilient and having multiple chances of making these big guys, and eventually one will stick, and you're gonna be able to just get it out there. You, you, they can only they have they they can only stop so much. So I guess that's that was his theory. Uh, I'm, assu I'm assuming. And then the side deck was pretty crazy, man. <laughs> okay, the side deck. He played on uh, one shadow hedgehog, so I'm like every. I, okay, so this is pretty much we're going second, pretty much. Uh, like, I'm assuming that, cause you know how like zoo, right? You're they're gonna have extra deck like, monsters, so you just uh, bring out this guy, then you can just get any effects, and then uh, just pretty much pick apart the board by sending, um, um, like bulb, sending your hedgehog, and then just go off that way, and um, it, and it's free pretty much. It's a free card. It's a free monster. It's, it's, it's as if you were playing with six ins infusions, because like you're like playing like this and this. Like that was freaking crazy. So I mean, it, it makes sense. That's really clever. And then you have the the side frames, because going second, I guess you can either just negate theirs and just stop whatever it is, like stop an invoker, stop a a broad bull, or stop a Norden. And then on and let's say you open a multiple. Let's say you open a multiple this right, and you open up like a uh, shut off fusion, or you happen to top deck a shut off fusion, either or. Um, and they have if they have retaliate and see because retaliate and see is like a people have been playing that a lot So you can just use that and then you just change like if they try if they try to change to that You just negate it and then you just bring out your guy for free So you, there's like that's insane. and then you plus off of it. So that's pretty that's that is pretty clever. That's pretty clever And then the third draw then the uh, there's two ashes the maxi so I'll preach all this within one second That's freaking crazy. I'm assuming pretty sure that's what happened and then just two um two kaijus I was a bit confused. I was like, why, why wouldn't you play the the dark one. It's, uh, why would you play the two dark ones? I mean, I don't know. Is it, I, I don't know. It's crazy. But that's freaking crazy, man. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, hopefully I'm just, um, he, um, I messaged Ian and um, he was a bit tired. So I'll end up interviewing him and give him the, the deck, the, the, the day report, the, the tournament report, and then just see where, uh, how his matchups went and how was there any like epic plays that he had to like play through. Because when you play this deck, you're going to send odds are against you when you play this deck. But there is a chance, and Ian or then just proved it again. Oh my god, it's getting crazy. That's good, man. That's so cool. But anyways, yeah, um, yeah that's it, man. Go ahead and try it out. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.